So are you guys looking for a build that can get you through the global event very fast and very efficient? Well, this build is going to do that. Not only that, it's gonna allow you to gain a lot of stars without even having to really complete most of these daily challenges. Yes, you can work on the daily challenges if you want, but if you just want to farm the open world, get stars, complete this rewards track, and to continue to get stars so you can use those stars to unlock other caches that you can get from the global event vendor, well, this is going to be the build for you. First thing you need to do is make sure you have the global difficulty set to heroic. The second thing you need to do is make sure you have all five directives active. Yes, all five directives active. And then the third thing you need to do is make sure you have a build. And I'll show you the build in a second. What I recommend is just farm open world activities. And what's cool about this build is those enemies are not going to be able to get up. Now, if you take a look at the build here, you're going to see that we're just getting headshot after headshot after headshot. And what does that do? That allows us to keep the enemy from reanimating because you guys know the name of this global event is called reanimated. And you see every time we get the headshot, that green cloud appears, right? We, we explode, the green cloud appears. But the thing about this is this build already one shots when, when we don't have this global event active. Now, once the global event is active, we're hitting some crazy numbers, as you guys can see, 50 plus million, 54 million. And we're just one shot after one shot. And I'm not even trying to complete any of the daily challenges and we already completed one. So if you're looking for something to get through everything fast, to get stars every time you level up, well, set this up. You're gonna notice we already leveled up once from completing just one public execution. So doing these open world activities, hey, that's going to be the fastest way to level, our, level up our shade level. But at the same time, we're leveling up our global event and getting stars. Now, if you do want to go after all the stars um, by doing the challenges, well, you can, but you'll probably be faster off just leveling up almost every two minutes, right? Or less. If you do these public executions, you get about 516,000 XP. That's not including any XP that you get from killing the enemies. That's just what you get from completing the public execution. And then if you do a control point, you're getting almost 800 plus. So for me, the fastest way to gain stars to do this would just be get a really good build like this, which I'm going to show you in a second, farm open world activities, level up and get a star every time you do. But let's get into the build so you can see what build I am using. Now the build we're gonna be using is the Hot Shot build. We are running a four piece. So remember, we're gonna get 30% marksman rifle, 30% weapon handling, 30% headshot damage, and headache. The talent that comes on the four piece is so good. First headshot with the marksman rifle will increase next headshot by 20%. The second consecutive headshot with the marksman rifle will give you 10% bonus armor. But if you're at full armor, it will give you armor max of 50% of your current armor value. Now the third consecutive headshot will always refill your magazine. So that means you can run all five directives, including ammo hoarder, and still be able to perform well with this. Now from the fourth headshot forward, agents will get all three bonuses for each consecutive headshot kill. Missing a headshot will reset the cycle. So there you go. That's why being able to keep that ammo up. Now we do have weapon damage, headshot damage, and a headshot damage mod on here. You're going to see headshots stacked throughout this build. For the chest, we're running the chain killer chest. This is going to give us 5% weapon damage. We have 15% weapon damage on here. We have headshot damage, crit chance, and a headshot damage mod. We paired this up with Perfect Headhunter. Obviously, you guys know by now, if you guys watched this build in the past, after killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of the killing blows damage. Now, damage is capped at 800% of your weapon's damage. This is raised to 1250 if your headshot damage is greater than 150%, which it will be. For our second piece of the hot shot, we're gonna have the holster. And again, you might've noticed weapon damage and headshot damage. So you kind of see the trend what we're doing here. For the knee pads, our third piece of hot shot, we have weapon damage, headshot damage. For the gloves, we have our fourth and final piece, weapon damage and headshot damage. Finally, we finish it off with the raw D backpack that gives us 10% marksman rifle damage. We have weapon damage on here. We have critical damage, headshot damage, and a headshot damage mod. And then vigilance, increased total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables his buff for four seconds. So that's why you're seeing that we're able to, not only with the global event modifier, but even if it wasn't active, one shot anything we shoot at. 
Now, obviously you guys noticed we were getting a headshot and then it was body shot, body shot, body shot, but they all counted at headshots and that's why they weren't reanimating. And that's because the talent on this white death, we have marksman rifle, headshot damage, damage targets out of cover, and then determine after killing an enemy with the headshot, the next shot landing on the enemy will be guaranteed headshot. So that means we constantly will get headshots no matter what we hit. Once we trigger the first time, it's headshot, headshot, headshot. It will one shot everything. So you have your long world optic right here. So you have 35% headshot damage there. You can change that and put the one that comes with the sharpshooter. We have 5% weapon damage on the magazine and then 5% crit critical hit chance on the underbarrel. So overall, this is what I run for the secondary, run whatever you want. I have the St. Elmo's, but I'm using this white death for everything. You can see we have 21% crit chance, 57% crit damage, 327% headshot damage. And then obviously for the skills, if you guys wanna see them real quick, I you can put whatever you want, striker, drone, decoy, and then a pulse. It, it, it's really up to you, but ideally this is the build that you want and this will one shot anything and it's gonna allow you to get that global event, get lots of stars and, and just be able to knock this out pre-fit. If you just wanna complete this and you don't wanna to have to do the challenges, well, don't worry about the challenges. Just play it. Just have fun, and you'll end up getting you'll end up getting enough kills to unlock all of this. And remember, every level is one star. So, if you guys want to do this event, use this to unlock those global event rewards that I showed you in the very beginning. Hey, do this now. Enjoy, and this build will carry you through everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, hey, nothing but skizz out. Take it easy, everybody.